Hey there, this is Octavian, lead programmer at Infima Games, and in this video, I'm going to hopefully explain to you how to make some destructible lights in Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to be starting by using our free FPS template, which you can grab in the description below. This is what we're going to be using simply for the weapon shooting. However, you can really use anything. We're not going to do anything that's super specific to this FPS template or anything of that nature. So. It's totally fine to use whatever. All right, so here's what we're going to do. The idea here is that we're going to create a blueprint that's going to represent the light that we're going to shoot at. I don't have any light models in the project right now or, you know, lamp models or anything of that nature. So we're just going to have to do with some sort of like mini cube and kind of work from there. So for now, let's just go to blueprint, blueprint class. Obviously, this is going to be an actor. We're going to be placing it in the world, and it's going to have some functionality. So we're going to make it an actor. And let's just call it Destructible Light. OK, so within Destructible Light, we actually don't need to do very much. All I'm going to do is, inside it, I'm going to place a spotlight. This is what we're going to use to represent the actual kind of light. I'm imagining a sort of ceiling light for this, but you can do this with whatever kind of light. We're not going to be doing anything that's specific to spotlights. OK, so the next step, now that we have our spotlight, is going to be creating some sort of functionality that allows us to either turn it off or represent that it's been destroyed in some way. We could just destroy the actor. However, if we do destroy the actor, we won't be able to re-enable this light. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial is not destroy the actor completely. Instead, I'm going to be disabling the spotlight. And so to do that, I'm going to go to event graph. And I'm just going to add some functionality here to disable the spotlight. And then we'll figure out how to build this into the actual weapon. So for example, if I make a event here, and we call this destroy light. Destroy light seems fine. Inside of destroy light, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spotlight and I'm going to set it. I'm going to set its visibility to be false. It's going to hide the entire light and is going to make it so that it doesn't appear in the level. And so if we now add a begin play event, which is just going to be called whenever this light gets spawned in the level. And then in here, we call it destroy light. and compile. I've already turned down the intensity of the light inside of the level, but if you don't have a level that has a kind of a lower light, you can just go to the direction of the light and then turn down the intensity. I've just turned it down from five to one. That's all of them. Okay, and so now we drag this light in here and you can see that indeed it's a spotlight, it's visible. And whenever I play, you can see that it stops being visible. So that's what the destroy light event is going to do for us. Now that we know that that's working, we need to figure out how to make it so that when we shoot at this, it disables it. So there's a few ways to do this. The way I'm going to do it in this video specifically is I'm going to be adding a sort of collider to the destructible light. So if we go here and then inside here, we search for collision. You're going to see there's box collision, capsule collision, sphere collision. I'm going to use sphere collision for this. All this is going to do is it's going to add a sort of invisible object that you can collide something with. And given that inside of this project, we have projectiles that we're shooting, meaning they're physical objects, this is going to work really well. I'm going to make sure that this collider is not set to overlap, because if we do set it to overlap, it's not going to stop the bullet which in our case is going to look really weird because it's going to just go right through it. And that's not really how lights work or any kind of physical object. So we're going to change this from overlap all dynamic to lock all. And once we have that, we can, you know, give it a little test so we can actually see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to add a real sphere here so we can see what we're kind of colliding with. I'm going to make it quite tiny. The idea is simply for us to see what it is. I'm going to set this to no collision. This isn't going to be our, our actual collider object. This is just the visible mesh. And this is the actual 
collision. And so now if we take a look, you can see that if I shoot at it, the ball bounces back. It's a little dark, I know, so it's going to be a little hard to see, but it is bouncing. And the light is deactivated because we deactivated it at start. So now we can unhook this part where we deactivate the light at start. We're not going to want to do that. We're going to let it be activated. And then when we hit it with something, we want to deactivate it, meaning call that destroy event. In this FPS template, we already have damage functionality, so it's going to be really easy to add this. As you can see, if I shoot at these mannequins, they actually die. And so if we just look at how that works, open the AI, you can see that there's an event, any damage, and then inside here, we're simulating physics on the mannequin. That part has nothing to do with the light. But this part, the event, any damage, if we copy this, and again, this is going to be specific for this template. Usually it depends a lot on how you've set up your damage system, but here the projectiles just apply any damage. And so you can just use that. So now if inside of any damage, I just call destroy light right here, and we can remove this entire begin play thing, compile. If I now go into the level and shoot this, you can see that it disables the light. So that's a really easy way to just destroy lights, right? So for instance, if you wanted to toggle the light, what I would do is add custom event, and we would call this toggle light. And I'm only going to do this here because it looks like a ball and it kind of, you know, if you shoot it, it starts kind of shining. I think it's kind of an interesting example in, the, in that way. And so instead of doing this, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab spotlight and we're going to get visibility or get visible. And we're just going to set visibility to whatever not visible is. Meaning it's always going to flip that switch. So I'm going to drag this here. And then make sure that inside here we call toggle light. Right, so this is what it looks like. You can see that all I'm doing is simply taking the visible value flipping it to whatever is the opposite, and then setting the visibility. And if I shoot this now, you can see it goes invisible, it goes visible, and just like that, it kind of switches constantly. So that's a really easy way to do that. So to kind of show it in context, what I've done is I've added that same exact actor, or pretty much the same actor, to our realistic assault rifle template. And inside here, just to kind of show you what it looks like in a level that's more, you know, built for something like this, you can shoot at it and it can turn off and on and off and on. And for example, we have these lights in the level right here. And even if you shoot them, it doesn't really do anything. But one thing you could do is you could actually add these as the actual mesh. So for example, if I copy that and I go here, paste it. And instead of this sphere, we just have this as a mesh. What we could do is we can move this actor right here. Right, so we can place it. It was actually set to static before, so I had to cut for a moment. But if I place it right here, and then I do one more thing, which is, in our case, we would have to somehow uh, disable the shine on this material or make sure that it's somehow a little less visible than it is currently. But in any case, for now, I think with what we have, it's going to be fine. So if I just go here, and you see this is the new light, if I shoot it, you can see that if I shoot it, it turns on and off. And that right there is going to be one way you can do destructible lights. Obviously, you would not turn it back on like that. That's kind of weird. But you could just turn it off, and that would work totally. And since it's set to any damage, it would just work with any kind of object that you have. It was really easy for me to plug it into the Realistic Assault Rifle template. By the way, also linked in the description, this is a project you can buy and learn from you're going to get access to kind of all the resources here. But in any case, that's that's it. That's pretty much the entire video. I hope it was useful. And if it was, or if it wasn't, you know, leave a like and a comment would actually be really good. I love talking to you guys, so it's really nice to see comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.